Yo guys, what's up? It's Andy Power, and you know already the concept here. Four letters, real, honest, and trustable tutorial. Let's start now. And today, my dear friends, I will show you how to install softwares to play old ROMs and old emulators like Genesis, um, SNES, Super Nintendo System. And to start, we will need to download RetroArch first. So what is RetroArch? RetroArch is like a front-end for emulators, games engines and media players. Uh, first of all, I want to explain you what we are trying to resolve here. I want to show you exactly how to play your games very easily through emulators. In my different experiences uh, in the past, I would say, uh, it was very difficult to play uh, smoothly video games through emulators because you have to go in and install all emulators uh, one by one and at the same time um, you will have big issues because you have to set up all your emulators individually to handle correctly your controllers okay let's say um, let's say you have different controllers you have like controllers like using X input and you have uh, controllers using direct input it's a big mess because you have to set up the software to say okay now if I am pushing the A it corresponds to this button on the original system and it's super annoying because if you want to play with a friend coming at your home um, and you want it to be super easy it won't be super easy because you have to go in your software and to um, to set up your controller it's super annoying it takes 10 minutes every time and you have another another friend coming a third friend coming saying hey i want to play in your game so you have to stop everything set up the new controller for 10 minutes it's super annoying so this wonderful software here retroact front end it's a very great software because i will show you that it's supported by default different kind of controllers and what is super interesting there and magical is that it is set up in your controllers automatically every time you're launching a system with a ROM it's associating a set of buttons from your controller to the original system so you don't have anything to do because everything is set up automatically so I will show you that so you go on the RetroArch you click on download here and honestly with this kind of software you can download the nightly version you download you launch okay I am on a Windows 10 so will be like the installer 64 bit here um, and just to mention that retro can be downloaded I won't show you here the setup because I don't have any Linux or something like that but you can install on Android iOS TV Apple TV um, Xbox one so basically you can play on different kind of uh, of system finally um, I will show you how to install it on Windows 10 so it's right x64 um, yeah Windows will find some 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 risk here but just just click here run anyway because we know that it's not dangerous we need like the DirectX 9.0 C so it's fine go ahead next I accept next and you can you can plug it in your system okay here we go it's installing now all right it's finished 
Yay! So, at the end you can run Retro Arc. Uh, it's my version because it's like today it's like we're, we're at the 22nd of June. But your version will be slightly different, especially if you are taking like the nightly version. If you are taking the nightly version on tomorrow, you will have like the 23rd of June version. Okay, so in recent versions of uh, RetroArch, you have now this this kind of um, I would say this kind of, of uh, interface here. Um, it's not so bad if you want to. Um, it's very good if you want to to have like uh, an interface like uh, <clears throat> you are using on your computer, and you have always like the keyboard and mouse very close to you, and um, you you can keep this this wonderful interface. It's it's super clean, super wonderful, and you have all the options that you can have in other, I would say, theme, theme or interface. But on my side, I would just go in uh, settings and uh, drivers here, menu, okay? And menu here, you have like the option to use ozone or you have the option to use other stuff here. So on my side, I will click on the XMB. I will restart my wonderful retro arc. And now I have a different uh, interface that is very more, really more suitable for uh, home theater because it's like something more more nice, more beautiful, and more and more uh, controller friendly. Okay, it's more controller friendly. Even, even if I am still using the, the keyboard here, it's really uh, uh, controller friendly. Okay. So I will show you like some some important uh, setup menu and options that you will use in the first time. Here you have like on the video you have the full screen mode okay my advice is here are to start in full screen mode in full screen uh, in full screen so as you can see it's really better for home theater which will have like everything running running in full screen and I will uncheck this one because the window windowed full screen mode is not it depends on your system, but it's not very suitable. If you are like using the full screen mode in windowed mode, um, you won't have all the attention of the system, and the system will be able to work on something else, and at the same time uh, displaying the menu here. If you are unchecking that, it means that you want to start in full screen mode and not windowed mode so it's it's exclusive mode and exclusive full screen mode is really better because you are telling your system hey man i am i am running this this software and i want the software to have all the system resources to be able to run smoothly so it's my advice here um if you want to go deeper I will say so here it's everything you need to set up your course okay the first menu here so you will be able to load course you don't have any course so you will be able to download the core but we will see in the next video deeper all the different systems you can download and have here and I will show you everything you need to set up like some some systems but first I will show you here we saw here the the drivers menu but we saw only how to change the menu okay you have a bunch of options here so the input i would say just keep the d input here um, because it will determine um, i would say the video drivers if you want to force to something else because you have some some bugs on your system or something like that you can change here 
For the controllers, I would say use the X input, but at the same time, um, RetroArch will be able to, to check if you have a different type of uh, input, like a direct input, and even if it's checked here, the X input, it will handle very greatly the other type of inputs. For the controller, it's X input here, you don't have to, to change anything, so as I said, for the video, um, it depends on your on your preferences, but a lot of old emulators are using only uh, um, OpenGL. So I guess GL GL is is the best and the more suitable for every every emulators you can you can download here. If you want, you can also use as I just did. You can use the Vulkan. So Vulkan is the is a, a more recent and I would say more efficient and more optimized backend renderer for uh, games. It's used in a lot of new games. It's used also for different uh, emulators like the Dolphin for Wii uh, and GameCube or the the Yuzu the Yuzu emulators too for uh, Switch games. But for old emulators, usually they are using OpenGL, but it doesn't matter. You can check Vulkan here and uh, RetroArch will use OpenGL when it's necessary for some different old emulators. So don't worry about that. It will switch automatically. Um, after that, you have like the audio, X audio. I think it's like something I didn't change before because it's like I think it's best suitable. Audio resampler, camera, if you want to use a camera driver, but I don't know if anything here. Um, location to nothing to change. Uh, record when you are recording your uh, game sessions, because you can record with RetroArch. You can use different, different uh, software here. FFMPG um, is, is, is the best. To do that so for the MIDI drivers when when you want to play MIDI sounds or MIDI music but you don't have anything to change uh, also in the settings you have the video like output Vulkan here is my screen resolution uh, the vertical refresh rate so you have some I will say some um, some information here on your system, on your video system. Here I, I showed you already window mode when you are in window. Uh, you have some things to scale here. Um, usually don't touch anything here because it will, if you're, if you're touching that and checking that, it will force the scale on an integer. Um, what it means is like you won't have like the full screen you want and you will have like something a little bit before the full screen uh, if you want like the, the scale. Uh, for the aspect ratio I would say 16.9 um, is, is great especially on my on my screen it depends on your screen but if you're like on a home theater connected to connected to your TV I would say it's best to do that because the, especially if you have like a 16.9 ratio on your TV and you don't have like 2110 or 219 uh, usually you don't have this kind of, of ratio on your TV so I think it's the best to, to force the system to use that for all emulators and this one we don't have to touch anything here for the synchronization the V-Sync is, uh, is already there uh, you can activate the adaptive V-Sync so just I will read the text here, but basically it's what I wanted to show you, is that if you are activating the VSync, especially if you have like a GeForce AMD, whatever, um, so it can minimize stuttering uh, when the performance falls below real time. Um, it's more energy efficient, but sometimes you, have, you can have like some glitches. Um, it depends on, on your tests. Uh, my advice is here is just just test that. Test test every options you have there. And uh, this one is like 
if you have like a free sync or uh, a J sync, a J sync, like my monitor has this option. Um, in here you have different, I would say, options that I'm not really using. Um, so it's fine. For the audio, if you want to change something on the audio, resampling, I usually don't touch anything before launching a game. The input is like the maximum users you want into a, a game. I don't know. I think like in the old in the old emulators or old consoles, you don't usually you're not able to play more than than four players, but you can change it to like infinite, I would say. No, not infinite, 16, okay. The maximum players you can have here, or controllers you can have here is uh, 16, so it's fine. And after you have like some, um, I would say, some options here for the pulling behavior. Um, by default it's late. Uh, input, the input time turbo mode if you want like classic or use a single button that is repeating like the turbo turbo default button like the b fire to be able to repeat some keys because in, in on old consoles you have sometimes to to push the button several times and uh, you just want it to to do it automatically like you're pushing the button you're staying pushed and uh, the fire, the, the action is like repeating, uh, repeating several times. So you can set up everything here. And you have the light, the latency. You can check the latency here. Um, the configuration, if you want to save, things like that. And uh, it's pretty much everything you can have here. After that you have like the favorites, uh, it's like managing the games, here is like the history when you are running a game, it's saying hey, you, you run this game, you run this game at this time and you can launch it uh, another time. And uh, the images, the music, the videos you are doing, and you can also connect to Netplay that is a network uh, specifically on the RetroArch to be able to play. I guess with friends or something like that. And uh, that's it guys, in the next video I will show you how to set up uh, more deeply RetroArch to be able to use your uh, your controllers easily. We will do a test also and I will show you how to install the different cores here in this menu right there. Well, thank you very much, I will see you on the next video.